Hello, everybody. So we are back to the garden. Remember, back in March, we rototilled this with the Ryobi rototiller. So I wanted to show you guys what the garden actually looks like now as of late June. So remember, we did put down chicken poop and some peat moss so you can see how well everything's growing here or not seeds but the flowers um, these guys over here which actually got blown down over the storm are potatoes and then we have our good old tomato plants starting to get some flowers and we're actually starting to get some tomatoes let's see if we can get our shot so you got some here you see how it makes over here we have uh, zucchinis and those are actually just starting to come out so in the next week or two we'll have zucchinis off in the distance back here is spaghetti squash that's really starting to take off growing everywhere and, um, we do have some of these sunflowers here and the reason for them is to hopefully have summer squash grow up on them off down here to the side are our peppers and those are actually starting to grow some peppers here getting a ton full of them so back behind everything we have our corn see everything starting to grow you know, the general rule of thumb is knee high by the 4th of July that's what I've always heard and currently uh, they are knee high or higher. So one thing I did want to point out is that it's gotten really wet and humid here. So we are starting to see a little bit of downy mildew on some of the vegetable plants. So I did spray that with some copper, I think it's copper sulfate to help control it. So hopefully that works. Last stretch where we put down the peat moss and chicken manure. And this location is where we planted watermelon. Not doing too well. I threw in some uh, green beans late in the season. So those are kind of struggling with the high heat. Um, but then we have this guy. And I forget what in the heck this was that we bought. Can you guys see that? That's a squash beetle. I'm going to start laying their eggs in here when we find out. So to help kind of alleviate from that, uh, that beetle, what I try to do is you take like a runner here and you take its vine. And you see how they kind of uh, lay on the ground there? Take some dirt and actually put over um, some dirt over the vine. So what that vine will do is actually grow roots and then they'll help to stave off the beetle that continually keeps uh, coming here. <laughs> 